Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Attributes SMP where today we are going to get very rich very fast. Now I am a person who has a lot of resources on the server. I have all the organized chests with all the fancy stuff. We got food for days, everything farmable you could ever imagine. I am not lacking resources. I mean just look at my armor. Look at it. Look at it. Do I look like a man who's poor? However, as rich as I am when it comes to raw resources, I don't actually have that many diamonds. Now, you see, diamonds is the currency of the server, and I don't have very many of those. I'm very poor when it comes to diamonds. And as I've just found out, Finn is actually so stupidly rich, he could probably build a diamond beacon right now. And that's just, why? Why does he need that many diamonds? What? I don't understand. No one's even opened any stores yet. There's nowhere to spend them. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we are going to match him very soon. Because as embarrassingly poor when it comes to diamonds that we are, I have a plan to go and match Finn and become just as rich as he is. And then that way he will have no way to flex on me, all right? I can't have anyone on the server flex on me i have to do the flex and that's just how it works okay i don't make the rules well i mean i do but still and as you can see over here finn is actually gonna, gonna get more diamonds soon because he's actually building a store where people can buy food but i can't be the only one with the store i mean finn is already stupidly rich i need to get diamonds and the easiest way to get diamonds i feel like is through gambling so on this little hill here we're actually going to build a casino where people specifically finn can gamble away his diamonds and it's going to be great i'll be so rich it, it's flawless system nobody suspects a thing and i've actually already designed the casino in a second like a single player world in creative mode but we still need a lot of resources if you want to actually build it so we're gonna have to go out and gather those resources hello okay. spirit hi I, I was hoping you could find it somewhere in your soul to help me out. Nice one. I wonder how much it would take me to buy my soul off of you. I'm gonna be honest, I'm here for the content, man. I don't care about money. So, Zach, you wanna be my- you wanna be my attribute SMP video? <laughs> <laughs> so, Spirit, you know, I was- you know, I got up this morning, and I was thinking, you know, today is pretty great, but you know what would make it even better? Is if we had 15 oh, stacks God. of sand, 6 stacks of smooth stone, 3 stacks of mangroves log, 3 stacks of spruce logs, st 3 stacks of birch logs, three sta 2 stacks of crimson logs, 2 stacks of black concrete, 2 stacks of hardened clay, 2 stacks of bamboo blakes, 2 stacks of dirt, a stack of granite, a stack of bricks, a stack of mud bricks, a stack of wool, a stack of warp logs, and a stack of oak logs. And so I was thinking that you and me could go out and gather those resources for no reason in particular other than that they'd be nice to have. This is the part of the video where I tell you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can get free clout. Alright, with Spirit's help, we've been able to gather most of the resources that we're going to be able to build this casino and make all the money in the universe. So then, I was thinking we could do this in a little bit of a time lapse. Uh, hold on, hold on, stop the time lapse, stop, stop the time lapse right now. There's, um... What is this? What is this? Explain. Someone explain. How has this happened? Wait, there, there's even a sign here. What does it say? World's biggest moose statue. Challenge accepted. All right. Here we go. We have officially created the largest moose statue on the server. Not the best architect here, but we're not here for architecture, man. We're here for scale. That's the important thing. Well, I think we can sufficiently say that ours is bigger. So we're going to have to go over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to take this sign. Bam. All right. We have... The thing, we did the thing, we have officially succeeded in the challenge of building a larger moose than he did, and now we can go home and not deal with the repercussions of those actions. <laughs> Alright, that, uh, that took a while. I I'm not gonna lie, that was a long process building this, but it's, it's finally done. Look at it. It's beautiful. Uh, th this whole server, I've had like no resources, and so I keep building things, and then they keep looking terrible. So I just don't know what I'm doing, but it's it feels so nice to finally build something that doesn't hurt my soul to build. So right here next to uh, Finn's food shop, we have the Slots Casino. Wow, this looks good. I've been here for two. It Slots. feels so nice to build something that doesn't hurt my eyes to look at. So yes. did you get? So did you get uh, Pelb to do it? Yeah, me and Spirit went out and gathered most of the resources. I actually had most of the raw resources on hand, apparently. And then he took so long getting the warped stem that by the time he was done that, I already gathered the rest of it, but he, he still helped. Sorry. Oh. I, I turn. I keep turning- the, we keep turning the pages at the same time. <laughs> Does that break the redstone too? No, that's not redstone, just the two slot machines are. 
<laughs> There's a reason that this okay, building so... is so much smaller on the inside, okay? And do I check it if I win, or...? If, if you win, it should come up out of the floor. Is it 50% or are you just lying? It's as close to 50% as I can make it in Minecraft. I don't know what the exact odds are, but it's around 50%. Um... I'm- I'm sorry, what? How? What? How did you get here? Where did you come from? You're- you're not even anywhere near the portal. How did you get it all the way over here? You know what? One second, we need to get a boat. Where's a boat? But please, I need to trap a zombie piglin for the rest of his life, please. So go into that. Yes! Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. We have the mysterious zombie piglin. How did you get over here? What? Why is there just a random horse with a saddle here? That's actually... That's a really decent horse. Jeez. I like this horse. If I couldn't fly, I would definitely steal this horse. This is a nice horse. I'm supposed to be checking... I'm so, when to, I'll, I'll fix you later. So the way the machine works is the... The profits from the machine go right back into the barrel that supplies the prize pool. So if we come down here, we have a dropper. And if... If the dropper dispenses a wooden shovel, then it pays them, and if it dispenses a stackable item, then it doesn't. The odds are slightly in my favor, but not by very much. And so if I don't, if I'm unlucky, it could actually run out of stock. And if I don't keep it stocked up, then it'll just break it, and then people will think that I'm scamming them. And that's not something that I want to happen, so I do have to keep this stocked up, and I'm not going to be able to actually collect the diamonds from, from it very often. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think I'm going to make a lot of profit from this, I'm going to be honest. This way, horse, you're going to sit here until the person who owns you comes back. So, in the last video, Flame's username was different. His account keeps getting hacked, presumably by the same guy over and over. It's very inconvenient, but... That's why you're going to see his username change quite a bit until we can figure out how he's doing that. Hello, Mr. Ghostman. I don't know if sleeping is the best idea. You'll start to burn. Have some money. <laughs> you just found diamonds somewhere? Good job. Is this your horse, by the way? No. Ah, uh, imagine using actually opening the door. A peasant. I'm trying to be so old. Yeah. Yo. Wait, 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 wait. Diamonds. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Joke's on you, I went back to rig the machine. No, I'm kidding. This is so addiction stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm back watching an addiction flourish and I love it. <laughs> Should have made the bar closer to here. Well, this was made after the bar. This was just a nicer... This was just a more convenient location. The person I was intending to get addicted to this was actually Finn. And he made his shop literally five blocks away from the casino. So that's why I built it here. My money! It's all gone! <laughs> <laughs> the wrong person got addicted. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm still broke. Would you like several stacks of cookies? Come back inside. Uh, ignore that. That's behind the scenes stuff. Okay, here's yeah. several stacks of cookies. <laughs> oh yeah, th th this guy is my new- this is my friend. I don't know how he got out here, but I've trapped him in a boat and now he's mine. Actually, uh, do I have a name tag? I might have a name tag. Honestly, I think everyone on the server got a really good ability to, for their personality and brand and all that, but I think- I think I got the best branding out of it. Oh, I, I love this so much. I just turn into like a shadow or whatever and float around. It's the best. Hello, Spirit? No, not spirit. Flame? Flame? Flame. <laughs> I forgot I'm like invisible. <laughs> you should start like wearing armor just during the day just so people can see you. <laughs> Alright, we now have a new member of the server, Dr. Philip Rutherford II. He is a valued member of our community and we will treat him with respect. <laughs> so where are you gonna put him? Uh, good question. We're gonna have to build him a house. I'm currently making a shop. Oh, what are you gonna sell? Weapons. Onwards! It should be over here. Wait, maybe he can be the mascot of your shop. <laughs> yeah, we, we can make it- we can trap him behind a desk and then he can be the- like, he's the weaponsmith. <laughs> Bruce spent all well, the fence actually, gates. Well, you're actually helping me? Yes, I'm invested. Look away, Mr. Rutherford.
Look away. Oh my god, this idiot. How? How is he doing this? How is he so bad at video games? Do I even give him back his stuff at this point, or does he just accept it? Did you set your spot on in lava? Did you forget you can turn invisible? No. How are you this bad? Are you trying to get something out of this? No, I just- I'm just going with the bit, man. I was so ex happy with the bit with the zombie pigmen, but then he just keep dying. Yeah. It's very hard to justify hanging out with you from a content perspective. I need more androcytes. Alright, let's look at this. How does this look as a stand? It doesn't look that good. Admittedly, this is pretty bad. But at the same time, I haven't planned this at all, and also this is technically Flames build, not mine, so it can look bad. I'm okay with it looking terrible. I am okay with this being the ugliest thing I've ever seen, because it should be. Can I build a desk out of polished diorite? It's a pretty ugly block, but it might be usable. Alright, that actually works pretty well. That should trap him in. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I've never been so happily sidetracked before. Usually, usually distractions are a bad thing, but this is, this is really fun. I wonder if I get a discount. Like a one diamond discount. That would be enough. Not a lot, because I don't think I'm going to be there much, but just a one diamond discount would be nice. Come along, Mr. Rutherford. We have work to do. So here's here's the plan. Dr. Philip Rutherford II, you are now the humble owner of this here weapons shop. Or whatever it is Flame ends up selling. I'm not too sure. Alright, we have been thoroughly sidetracked with that little a little side quest there, and now we can get back to what we were actually doing in this video, which was checking to make sure the slots machine's working. And now would actually be a really good time for that, because as we just saw, Flame came over here and he spent all his diamonds gambling. So, if we go down and check the reserves... Yeah, we have actually made diamonds so far. Okay, I know I keep getting sidetracked this episode, but just, just bear with me here, bear with me here, okay? I have... I might have found the single greatest texture pack to ever exist. I found a texture pack that turns axolotls into beavers. Wait, that actually looks really good as well. They're like, fully animated. Oh, it's adorable. Well, I'm gonna be honest here, I completely forgot what I was supposed to do this episode, but I'm out of time to record anyways, so this is gonna be the end of the episode. Bye. Aww.